Hello, mate. I've got something for you. What are you doing here? What's this? I can't go shopping in peace no more, no? I think you're going to like it. You must drive to the Trafford Centre in Manchester. Yeah. Why? You have to wait and find out, my friend. In that case, I'll see you guys in Manchester. Off we go, then. so small, what's going on with that lot? Okay, welcome to the UK's biggest shopping centre, the Trafford Centre. Now you're in Manchester, you must report on the bombing of the MEN Arena for Ari Ariana Grande, the bombing of the Arndale Centre in the 1980s, and the mystery of the Buell Hill Park fires. Have fun. Are they taking the mick? Have fun. I don't think they are, Mackenzie. Well, this time we've got some crazy work to do, so you guys are going to come and join us on an incredible journey about the tragedies all around Manchester in recent times. Let's go do this. Come on. Welcome back to Manchester. We are here at the AO Arena, formerly the MEN Arena, which is obviously the unfortunate location of the Ari Ariana Grande bombing back in 2017. On the 22nd of May 2017, almost 21 years to the day since the Arndale bombing, which you've seen on a previous video, video. unfortunately, the Manchester Evening News Arena, as it was called then, was bombed by a suicide bomber at the end of an Ariana Grande concert right here in the city. At 10.31, that bomb was detonated, causing the loss of life for 22 people. Unfortunately as well, 1,017 people were very dangerously injured. It was originally believed that the suicide bomber that detonated that horrific device inside this very building acted alone. Upon police inquiries, it was then found out that actually there was more than one perpetrator and one of them was arrested in August 2020 and was handed a minimum term of 55 years in prison. Uh, this is the longest ever imprisonment imposed by a British court. A public inquiry released in 2021 found that more should have been done by the police to stop the attack, while MI5 admitted it acted too slowly in dealing with his perpetrator. Thankfully, Ariana Grande hit back massively after uh, temporarily suspending her tour and hosted a benefit concert on the 4th of June entitled One Love Manchester which raised a staggering £17 million. Pounds. All that money didn't go to her, instead was handed back to not only the then MEN Arena but also the victims of that horrific bombing. Greater Manchester Police said that after the attack had happened, attacks on Muslims around the city increased by 48% and also increased the need for Theresa May, the then Prime Minister, to issue and commission the counter extremism and terrorism part of the Met Police. This does once again show 
that when tragedy happens in the great city of Manchester, the people of the North West and indeed this city come back bigger, better, stronger and better. But also, for the six years following that horrific attack, all the public transport around this city displayed in unison, whether it be a tram, a bus, a taxi, you name it, had a nice little emblem of the one loved Manchester Bumblebee, which is still evident around this phenomenal city, even to this day. Whether it be on flower pots, lampposts, it could be landmarks, everywhere around this city, you will find that little emblem. So if you're ever in Manchester, have a look around, check out that. And if you're ever wondering what that bumblebee could be for, just remember, one love Manchester. But from me, we're now going to head to Media City to do another video for you guys. This is Linden TV. Miss it, miss out.